Let's design the four bar linkage that makes a sturdy Pythagorean lift. You can use a sturdy mechanism like this in all kinds of furniture situations. This is four bar jack, a little sculpture I made in 2013 during the ITE in Philadelphia. Jack demonstrates the basic four bar linkage which engineers use to translate motion. The squarish bar fixed to the base is called the ground. The other bars move relative to it. Jack levers himself up to a solid and stable 90 degrees. Then he flexes his joints and folds down flat. You can see how useful something like this is in furniture design. Let's dig a little deeper and figure out how it works and how to design one. These two rocker arms rotate through 135 degrees while Jack stands up to 90. The small traveling arm somersaults through a full 360 degrees with each cycle of the mechanism. I've taped my little green assistant to the traveling link so you can watch him do the backflip. Meet Pinocchio, an earlier version of Four Bar Jack, and now part of the permanent collection at the Center for Art in Wood in Philadelphia. My rolling turning tools cabinet uses four bar linkages to make sturdy lifts that extend from both sides. Here's the wing on the other side. This is what's called a Pythagorean lift. It's easy to fold down and to lift up. It locks in place and it's very sturdy. The ground is fixed to the side of the cabinet. The short crank rotates through 180 degrees while the long crank with the top attached rotates through 90. In this arrangement, the traveling arm is just a connector, though it does translate completely from one location to another. So measure carefully and bore clean straight hole. Make a gauge so you can turn the pivot pins to a nice smooth fit, not too tight, not too loose. And make simple jigs so all the bars come out the same. The pivots also can be made as tenons on both ends of separator turnings. A reliable shop made self locking right angle lift has many practical applications. Here's a prototype double lift folded down flat. It could make a spiffy folding laptop stand. The flat bars could be made as crisp spindle turnings in the next version. Quadruple lift makes a sturdy pedestal to support this heavy old word processing machine. Small walnut end table with cherry legs folds down flat. And it can deliver motion. Working the black pawn moves the traveling bar and with it the yellow dish from one end of the board to the other. Lumniscuit of Bernoulli, ITE 2013. Because the connecting bar actually travels from one place to another, we can use it to draw. Find point P, the center of the traveling bar. A compass is a three bar linkage that only draws circles. The four bar linkage draws the circle and also the figure eight infinity symbol that is the lemniscuit of Bernoulli inside the circle. This point is a singularity where the mechanism can choose to go up around the circle, down around the circle, or to traverse either branch of this limniscuit in the center.
So to design our lift, the dimension of interest, here is AB, the long crank support for the platform. Or maybe it's the distance down to the floor, that is the fixed bar plus the short crank. So if we wanted AB, the horizontal bar when the lift is up, to be 10 inches, Okay, that's five lengths we're going to need to know to make one of these. And we've decided one of them, AB, 10 inches. We also get to specify the right angle triangle, and we're going to stay with ones we're familiar with. So because Pythagoras, if it's a 45 degree right triangle, AB is 10, AC is 10, and BC is 14.14. So now we know all three sides of the triangle, and that's three of our five variables, leaving only two to find. That is the length of the long ground bar, AD, and the short crank, CD. We can see from the closed diagram that AB plus BC equals AD plus CD. And the open diagram tells us that the short crank, CD, is as long as the fixed crank AD minus AC, the distance that comes into being when the gizmo is open and the triangle forms. So bringing it all together and doing the algebra we find we can solve for the two missing variables and now we know enough to build the gizmo. So pause the video here if you want to note down the math and if you don't, wait for the next slide where I'm going to give it to you in the form of a table. So here's workable dimensions for 8, 10, and 12 inch horizontal shelf supports uh, using a 45 degree triangle and using a 30, 60, 90 triangle. All distances in inches center to center. Wood shop. Thank God for wood.